we need to talk. As usual, the key to solving this equation is to is to simplify. So you bring out the common factor of. You know, sometimes time just slips away from you until suddenly it catches up and catches up fast. I guess that's what happened to you today, Lee, with the test. Now, I expect a number of you are anxious to know the results of your tests. Unfortunately, something has come to light that actually invalidates all your tests. This answer sheet was discovered at the back of the room. Until we discover who used this answer sheet, or they reveal themselves, I'm afraid all your tests are invalid. You'll all need to reset the test. To tell you the truth, I was pretty bent out of shape by that little nugget. I worked hard on that test and have it taken away from me. I wanted to hurt somebody, but I needed the right person, so I went searching. A lot of people had a lot of fingers and a lot of pies, and Joe, I all the pies. I heard about your test. Such a shame. When a member of our community chooses to flaunt the rules like that. Never was one for the small talk, Joe. So cut the crap. Is that any way to talk to your fellow man? <laughs> if I don't start hearing some answers, you won't be dealing with the man. Well, I would like to help. Perhaps if these birds were given a royal welcome. So? Well, to be honest, I don't know that much. Except that Chris had something to do with it. Thanks. Goodbye, Hal. I felt like Joe had lifted $20 off me. It didn't matter. I'd found a lead. Know anything about that test, Chris? No. Go talk to Joe. I talked to Joe. He said talk to you. Well, he doesn't know what he's talking about. My mind is different. Maybe you should dig deep. We might be able to see eye to eye. Look, I didn't steal the test. I never said you did. I found it in my locker with some money and these instructions. I followed the instructions and left the test in the courtyard. A smart man would have just taken the money and left the test. But you're an honest criminal, aren't you? Time was running out, and all I had was a location. I decided it was time to buckle down and do some investigating. I don't know what I was expecting to find. A stick of gum, maybe? Either way, the answers were lying in that trash. There it was. The single strand that linked you to everything. I wanted to talk, but you were already gone. With that piece of paper though, your goose was cooked. And all I had to do was serve it to Mr. Wilson. seen that handwriting before. It was on the instructions Chris had shown me. The only thing I couldn't figure out was why. Why did you and Mr. Wilson cheat on the test? So you've got it all figured out. Except for the motives. I can tell you mine. That's easy. Always had a tin ear for maths. More of a muser. That test would have given me UE. That test was the difference between me performing at Carnegie Hall or on Manchester Street. I would have failed that test. Fortunately, I wasn't the only one who needed me to pass. So, Mr. Wilson approached you? Yes and no. I wanted to do it properly, but he had a different approach. I went along with it as far as it would go. So, what did he have to gain? I think you can answer that for yourself. 
The head of maths just had a mental breakdown and Mr. Wilson's wallet was aching. But why cheat? I already told you. You knew I wouldn't pass. I wouldn't pass the test on my own, at least. That would have left him promotionless. Maybe a head of maths isn't the job for him then. It really isn't. So why did you light the match? <laughs> if I turned you in, I'd get a lower grade.